viruses are obligate parasites that uh, require a host to replicate in, but at the same time, um, they can cause a wide variety of diseases. So there's usually a trade-off between, um, you know, the need for the virus to survive, but also uh, needing the host to be healthy as well. The days usually split between lab work. So I'll be in the wet lab doing experiments, preparing samples and the other half will be a lot of computational work analyzing data. I work on a whole host of different viruses, uh, including HIV, influenza, and more recently, obviously, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Lots of different viruses coat themselves in host-derived lichens, which can play a variety of roles during the viral life cycle. And one of these features that I look at is how the glycans help the virus to evade the immune response from the host. Glycans can cover and shield the viral proteins from the host immune response, but they can do this to varying degrees. Some viruses, such as HIV, shield themselves very heavily. Others, such as the coronaviruses, don't do it to as much of an extent, and this is an encouraging feature of the virus since it's more susceptible to the immune response. So we characterize the sugars and how they're processed on the surface of the spike proteins. The first lockdown period, it was quite intense. Um, you know, the whole department shut down, so we were working, I think it was three of us in our lab, were just working by ourselves. Um, uh, it's uh, not different from working on other viruses, to be honest. Um, it's just obviously a lot more time pressured. It's nice to have recognition from the wider community. I think hopefully it'll get people more involved in research and it can hopefully uh, shed light on research that otherwise wouldn't be that well known.